Hello and welcome everyone to Variety Stick and we back again for another video. Now if you've been searching online to buy a tablet, especially if you're looking for a budget Android tablet, you might need to consider a VanQ Matrix Pad S21. This tablet sent to me by the company and the company offer also $20 discount on Amazon.com. Right now, the price of this tablet, it will be $119 plus you get discount code in Amazon for $20 off. You guys can find the link in the description if you are interested buying this tablet. Also take advantage of the $20. So today, we have this tablet that cost only $99. We're gonna have a look. I'm gonna do unboxing and mini review. So let's find out. Now let's kick off and talk about the main specs of this tablet, starting with the screen 10.1 IPS LCD 1280 x 800, that's high definition. You guys are not gonna expect anything higher for $99 uh, tablet, but seems to me it should be decent for the size and the quality of the screen. Octa core for the processor, 64 gig for the CPU, and 2 gigabyte of RAM. Sounds fair for the price, and 32 gigabyte for internal memory. And you have the option to add SD card up to 128. Also good to mention this tablet doesn't support 4G or LTE, but it supports Wi-Fi, the 2.4 gigahertz and the 5 gigahertz, which is nice to see that on the $99 tablet. I have reviewed tablets before and they were only support 2.4 gigahertz, so that gives this tablet specifically advantage for browsing the internet through the Wi-Fi. Also, this tablet has dual camera, one on the front, which is 2 megapixel, and 8 on the rear. I'm looking forward to check the performance, even that I don't expect anything of this camera, but that would be something nice in case if you want to use one of the FaceTime application to talk to somebody through your tablet. But guys, not going to expect high performance of the camera if you want to shoot pictures or so. And finally, it will be the battery. The size will be 5000 milliamp. Sounds really good. And the tablet support C type for charging. And now let's do the unboxing. And that box seems to me a very professional look, sealed very well, and that reflects good quality of the packaging. And by the way, this tablet comes with a blue color. That seems to me very hot. I'm looking forward to see the tablet. So let's go ahead and take this lid off. There we go. So the first thing we will see the tablet. It's gonna be right here in this plastic bag. And we have uh, some of the main specs and some actually warning in different languages as a screen protector. We can peel this off later and then you will see that you have the SIM ejector tool even that doesn't actually take actual SIM card but that's going to be for the SD card. So let's take this off and we will see that we have the matrix pad S21, the manual or user guide, how to inject SIM card, how to charge. If you need some information that might be useful for you and a quick user guide that explains to you how it works and some other information. For me, I never read this box. Let's go ahead and also look to see what else we have. We will have actually a box. I believe this contains the C-type charger. So let's go ahead and open it. There you go, USB. C type cable and seems to me actually a good quality. Nothing else in this box. And we will have 5 watts of brick wall to recharge the tablet. There you go, very standard. And seems to me nothing else in the box. Yeah, that would be everything on the box itself. Let's put the tablet right here and move all these parts away. And also let's go ahead and remove this. There you go. 
that would be actually the tab so we have a gloss right here a lot of ta cheap tablets by the way they didn't have actual a gloss on the front that's something always nice to see the build construction seems to be very solid it looks nice the camera we'll have the power key let's power it on we have the volume keys headphone uh, jack and uh, let me see where is the c type to recharge that should be on the top of the tablet and we will have a tool camera as i said one on the front and one on the back which is this the front one two megapixel I, I will check this out but uh it feels good in the hands and by the way it has android uh, 9 out of the box normally vanq uses the stock android i'm gonna set this up actually and come back to you later we'll give you more information a few moments later now after spending some time with this tablet overall i'm impressed with the performance of this tablet with some exceptions which is i'm going to cover first of all it will be the build construction it's a glass from the front and it's a plastic on the back but this is expected for 100 dollar tablet but it feels actually premium and solid in the hands so i don't have any complaint about the design in general Except one thing, it will be the position of the speaker in this tablet, which is located right here on the back of the tablet. Now, the speaker quality, it's mono, it's very standard, so we don't have firing speaker, we don't have stereo, so you guys are not gonna expect the best sound to come from this speaker, but you have the option to add another external speaker through the audio jack. Now, if we just play music, it's gonna sound okay. In my opinion, it's a decent sound, but if I actually uh, put this tablet on the table like that and play the music. Now let me just lift it. If they would have actually think about different uh, position for the speaker, maybe from the side, since the tablet is huge, actually big size 10 inch tablet, that would be much better than having the speaker to be on the bottom. Now for the display, we have 10 inch, as I mentioned before, it's IPS covered with a glass, which is more resist for the scratches. It's always a nice thing. Now the only complaint I have, there will be the amount of resolution. 720p or 800p, it's not considered high resolution. But since it's IPS LCD, I would say I can see everything fine from any angle of view. I see the color actually uh, vivid and contrasted and has good amount of a brightness. For also like $100 spending on this tablet, I won't complain much. And for me, I'm able to see everything just fine on this display. Now for the actual performance of this tablet, I was so amazed with the performance Especially I was not expecting much from 2 gigabyte and a processor. I don't even know the model But I know it's octa-core 64-bit also I have downloaded CPU Z just to find out the model of it But the only thing I was able to see it will be ARM Cortex A55 1.6 octa-core processor well, i don't care about the name since the performance is actually great i've downloaded games using this tablet for your social media applications i haven't noticed lagness problems and it was smooth as better now for the operating system this tablet came with android 9 out of the box and i'm not sure if the company will push any software update in the future but the experience with this tablet will be fully stock android the only apps you will see only stock android applications which is google application chrome google play store google photo etc overall speaking about performance of the software it's very nice having noticed problems or lagness and the experience was so clean now normally i focus on the camera in every cell phone i review but this time around this tablet as i said it has eight megapixel on the rear and two on the front I have actually tested the camera myself and it was terrible and that was something expected from any tablet for a low price you guys maybe need the camera to do some facetime capture features here and there but it's not something that you have to relay on so i'm going to skip this part because in my opinion a lot of people buy tablets 
for the fact of the performance since you are able to download your apps on this tablet and you have no problems it doesn't lag or crash or you play video games and it's smooth like a butter and you don't have any frame drops I think this is all it matter and that was very much it for that video i wish you guys find this video helpful if it did thumbs up subscribe for more here on variety stick hit the bell you will be notified every time i post video in the future thank you so much everyone for watching as always we'll see you in the next video